Hello everyone, this is Joey here. Inspired by Team Cerberus, Robert Callan, Team Small Robots, and Nate Franklin, I have decided to do an event report video of NERC Franklin Institute 2018. I was going to do an event report video of Motorama 2018, but I was really busy at the time. So at the event, I was competing with my three pound robot, Devastating Moment. So let's begin. So in my first fight, I was against a drum spinner built by Dylan McCarthy called Nitro Hornet. This fight was a back and forth fight. In some parts of the fight, he was in control of the fight, and in some parts of the fight, I was in control of the fight. In the first 20 seconds or so, I ripped off a wheel guard off of Nitro Hornet. After that, Nitro Hornet did send Devastating Moment up in the air, couple times and then Devastating Moment sent Nitro Hornet in the air a couple of times. Devastating Moment almost did the thing but thankfully recovered and after one big hit I noticed that the drum of Nitro Hornet was coming off its bearings. The fight went to the judges decision and the judges gave the win to Devastating Moment. After the fight I noticed some of the screws holding the top plate of Devastating Moment were knocked loose. So we went back to the pit table and added some new screws. In fight number two, I was against Big McLarge Huge, who used to be a drum spitter but now was an undercutter. I had to turn Devastating Moment on its other side because one of the metal wedgelets was scraping the floor, making Devastating Moment to go in a weird direction. Devastating Moment did pop Big McLarge Huge up in the air a couple times. Then one big hit broke Big McLarge Hughes' his lawnmower blade and he got his wheel ripped off. He got counted out and that was a second win for Devastating Moment. The third fight was against Neat Franklin's speedaway robot, Thunderchild. At first, Thunderchild was in control of the fight, but then Devastating Moment hit the side of Thunderchild and the side armor of Thunderchild was bent making Thunderchild to run in circles. One moment of the fight, Devastating Moment almost did the thing. Devastating Moment did deliver some damaging blows to Thunderchild, but then after one big hit, Thunderchild was working well again and was able to push Devastating Moment into the wall a couple of times. But then the fight ended and had to go to the judges and the judges gave Devastating Moment the win. So fight number five was the winner's semifinals and I was against Silent Spring. Big hits were delivered in this fight. In one moment of the fight, a huge hit was delivered and Silent Spring almost went out of the arena. A couple seconds had passed and one big hit was delivered by Silent Spring, causing the beater of Devastating Moment to stop working. The fight was halfway through, so I decided to stay away from Silent Spring. But Silent Spring delivered more damaging blows to Devastating Moment. The fight ended with a judge's decision, and they gave the win to Silent Spring. When I got back to the pit table, the beater of Devastating Moment was really jammed. We worked hard to make sure it was unjammed. And the uh, plug of the weapon ESC was unplugged. So I was in the loser's bracket and I was against Thunderchild again. We worked hard and hoped for the best that the beater of Devastating Moment would spin up. Unfortunately, it was trying to spin up, but to no prevail. The fight just was a push fight with Devastating Moment and Thunderchild. Devastating Moment did corner Thunderchild into the corner a couple of times, but the fight was mostly Thunderchild pushing Devastating Moment around. Another moment of the fight when Devastating Moment was flipped over, the metal wedge slits had struck again. They were scraping the arena floor and Devastating Moment had to go in reverse for most of the fight. The fight ended with a judge's decision. They gave the win to Thunderchild. So, 
The Rick Franklin Institute 2018 was a great event. Devastating moment, they came in third place in the beaterweight division. The reason why the beater of Devastating Moment was not working because bits and pieces of the uh, weapon motor were preventing it to spin up. So we just got some two new spare weapon motors for Devastating Moment. The next event I'm hoping to compete in is Motorama 2019 with Devastating Moment and Swamp Woman 2. So, hope to see you guys there at Motorama 2019.